get it. Let's go. What are you? Wait, we didn't get a walking in shot. Can you? We need to walk. Get out. I need a walking in shot. Ready? Okay, slow, 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 slow. Okay, that's good. Jasper, Basper, Casper, Jasper. Jasper! Oh, present! Okay, he runs to give it to you first. I see how it is. I see. Yeah, did you have a good sleep? <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Alright, so we just finished up a quick pull workout, did some bent over rows, did some biceps, a little bit of shoulders, a little bit of everything, some accessory work. But yeah, today we're gonna head to Costco and just share with you guys some of the things we get in bulk, because we go to Costco maybe once every six weeks. Obviously, we, when you go to Costco, everything is packaged, comes in plastic, so we try to get most of our produce on a weekly basis from, you know, the normal grocery store. But honestly, you just sometimes can't beat the price of Costco, especially when you buy things in bulk. Best. My leg is so sore. Still from yesterday. What do you think about my uh, no product hair? My wet hair look. It's gonna look like a classic Korean bob in about 20 minutes. Yeah, once <laughs> it's gonna go full mushroom. Cars! Cars! What are the cars doing up there? Uh, it's cars! Cars! <laughs> Welcome to Costco. Whoa, slow down, slow down. Ow, ow, ow. My legs are sore. Why are we here? Because the projector is very difficult to play video games on. Yeah, let's get these avocados. So oh, it's massive. That's awesome. So big. Yeah, nice. For what, $7.99? One, two, three, four, five pieces for 20 bucks. Five bucks. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Stop. All right, let's see this big strong man. Oh. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh yeah, my hair is a straight up bowl now. Jasper, hey, where's the present? Oh, look at that nice neutral spine. Yeah, clean it up. Nice. Oh, sh fuck. Jesus. All right, so here is everything we picked up today. Everything was 230 bucks. We got a big thing of celery. We got this massive case of San Pellegrino's. Some salmon. This will be great with my vacuum sealer machine. Yeah, we can actually just like portion it out and just freeze it. Asian pears, because uh, Ryan has an Asian fetish. And I was like, no, let's just get the white people pears. But he's just like, no, let's get the Asian ones. They're more yellow. Oh. Uh, Chicago mix. Vector, I think believe this has two bags in here. Some garbage bags, we got a bit more produce. These avocados are fucking massive. I don't know what kind of hormones they're pumping into these, but I like it. These two things of hummus, massive, right? What was it, $6.99? Yeah, something like that. So cheap! We got two big bags of chips, uh, some sweet potatoes. I don't know what... I don't know, this was Ryan's purchase. It's car snacks. They're not snacks though, aren't they mints? What's the difference? Ryan has really stinky breath, so you know I wasn't mad at these. Got some mushrooms, some mangoes, potatoes, <laughs> this massive case of cookies. And I think this was the best purchase uh, of today. All of these sour teas were $7.99. Oh, and also we got that as well. So yeah, a lot of these stuff are gonna last us much longer than a month, but yeah, I think it's a good balance that we have going on right now, just going every six weeks just to get the really big bulk stuff at a really great rate. But when it comes to the day-to-day -day grocery stuff, uh, we just get them at the regular grocery store still because it's pretty comparable. And when you go to Costco, it's really easy to get sucked in at like the lower prices and just buy things for the sake of buying it because you think it's a good deal. But is it really a good deal if you don't use it and if you throw it away? No. Want a bad bitch like me? Tummy rubs, tummy rubs, tummy rubs. All right, you hold his feet and I'll grab his hands and we can roast him in the fire. We should have done it when he was fat. Oh, fuck, now he's skinny now. We have to fatten him up. Jasper, look, a ball. Good pea spot, buddy. Box. Asian pear, salt. A lot of lime juice. Yeah. Well, while you do that, I'm gonna do something more important. Today we have a 2019 Chianti. Muscle tough. Pull it from the bottom. Uh -huh. 
and you just oh, turn oh, it to easy. stop. That's easy, bro. Okay, okay. Well, you gotta hold one hand, one hand behind your back, and then just turn it to stop. Sir, sir, stop! <laughs> oh my! Wait, did you do this? <laughs> what is this? What is this Frankenstein? Wow. 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 What is this mystery meat? This is... This is duck tip. Duck tip. Any tips for people at home wanting to experiment with duck? Uh, legs are the easiest. They're really good slow cooked. This is the fat on the duck breast. This takes a really long time to cook down, so you're going to want to put it in a pan first before you chuck it in the oven. Otherwise, it's going to be really chewy, mm -hmm. as well as eating it medium is best. Um, a lot of people are pretty like, oh, duck, it's a bird, I can't eat it. Medium. Yeah. Well, actually, you can eat it raw. Because it's a red meat. Because it's a red meat. Yeah. Doing this helps the skin sear. This is a squash and yam puree. Inside we have a ginger, daikon, and apple, or sorry, Asian pear puree, and then confit potatoes. This is a piece of green. <laughs> Dude, that puree, babe, like, flavor-wise, I think this is the best thing that you've made. Mm. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing that? Mmm. ASMR. That's a good skin. That's a good skin. All right, folks. So that's pretty much it for today's daily vlog. My mustache is already growing, man. But... Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>